Hey, good afternoon everyone. Mark Nicholson coming to you from Larkins GMC in Toma, Wisconsin. Got a great looking 2024 GMC Yukon XL to go through with you today. This is in the SLT options. This has got the 5.3 liter V8 engine. That vehicle's got a three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper and a five year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. Again, as we're walking around this vehicle, this is in the SLT option. So it's got the SLT chrome, SLT grill. There's the tires and rims that uh, come standard with that SLT. Got some great looking steps that come along with that. As you walk up to this vehicle, this does have the proximity keys. So if you have the keys in your pocket or the keys in your hand, you just come up, push that chrome button. You can either have that door open up or you can have all the doors open up at the same time. Back up a little bit here, get another good picture of it for you walking around. The vehicle is does have seating for seven in this one. We've got two in the front, two in the middle row, and three in the back. We've got bucket seats in that second row. It does have the power tailgate. You have a hitch that is behind that spot right there. At 360 degree camera, we'll be showing that to you in just a little bit. This is in the volcanic red tinned coat with a jet black leather interior. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. All right, here we are coming through the driver's side. Your options for rolling the windows up and down, locking the vehicle, your memory sets for your mirrors and seats. Bose premium sound system. There's that floor liner package. Power seats, lower lumbar. Telescopic steering wheel. Electric parking brake. Lane assist, park assist, auto start stop, traction control push this button right here that's your 360 camera system so when I push that button that your camera system automatically turns on different drive modes numerous different interior and exterior lighting options day nice day to hop in and have that steering wheel automatically turned on right there the seats are turned on working getting everything nice and warm for me left side of the steering wheel this is your cruise control this button here is your adaptive cruise control so when you push and hold that it lets you know whether you're in a regular cruise control which we are in now or I'll push and hold it one more time now we're in adaptive cruise control. That adaptive cruise control, if you're traveling down the interstate, you've got your cruise control set at 75. If you come up behind a vehicle, your, ve your vehicle is going to stay a certain distance away from it based upon how far you're telling it to stay away from it. So you're going to get up a certain distance. It's going to slow down to the speed that's in front of you. And stay at that speed and distance from that vehicle. When you move into the left lane, there's nothing in front of you. Your vehicle will automatically go back up to that 75 miles per hour. Right side controls your Bluetooth and your phones. Roll indicator on your right side controls your driver information center in front of you. Let's go through a few of them. Your screen now is all an LED screen, and I'm referring to that one we're looking at right now, the driver information center. Because it's all LED, now it gives you the ability to change it up how you want to change it up and what you want. So as an example on the left hand side there, right now we are looking at the, uh, we'll go into it, we're looking at the compass view. So if you don't want the compass up there all the time, you can roll it down. Well now we got time and temp, we've got tire pressure, fuel economy. So those are all things that you can have up on that screen all the time. Right now we do have it set at compass. So I'm gonna go back out. We can do the same thing to the right side. And then we can also do the lower gauges which is that red line that just popped up at the bottom. So right now when we go into that, let you know that it's in medium. We'll go down to minimal, so you have less information, or we'll go up to maximum, so you've got a lot of information up there. We'll put that back on medium there. So that just gives you an idea of 
the flexibility on that screen and be able to change it and have it set up how you want. Drive train job, job, drive train options for this vehicle. Park reverse neutral drive and then your low gears. Putting it into drive is fairly easy. Put your foot on the brake, put your finger behind the D, pull it back, you are now in drive. Put it in in park, just push the button. Put it in reverse, pull a button. Your high definition camera system automatically turns on. Left side of that camera system is that 360 degree view little yellow button down at the bottom is telling you that that view that you're looking at now on the right side is looking backwards now you're looking forwards now we're going to go do a different camera view yellow button to the front means we're looking to the front to the rear sides straight down so lots lots of different options and having it set up how you want it set up we're going to put this back in park Shut our camera system back off. Here's your radio system. You're going to have AM, FM. You can add in XM radio. You can also Bluetooth it right to your phone. Listen to anything you have on your phone, whether it's books or music, podcasts. It does have a trailering options. So in this trailer package that's with this, you have the ability to do a trailer test. So once you hook a trailer up, you come back in, hit the start test. Hop back out and the vehicle will randomly go through and check your lights, running lights, brake lights. So again, it just turns all the way around. It's telling us, no, you can't do it because I don't have a trailer hooked into it. So you're going to have a couple different mapping options with this vehicle. You're going to be able to uh, Bluetooth your phone into it and use your mapping options, whatever you like using on your phone. You'll also have the option of using OnStar. Now that OnStar package is uh, just a trial package with the SLT. You do have the option of purchasing additional and then you can use that. But you will have a package through your phone um, that's wireless, so it won't be any issues at all. We go into the settings here. So what we're doing here now, we're going in and showing you the settings of things that you can have it set up and do. You can have it defaulted to how you want it to work. So as an example, we got collision and detection systems, we got automatic emergency braking, we got front pedestrian braking, and we have a safety alert seat. So right now the vehicle is set up to automatically alert and brake you if it thinks it's going to be involved in an accident. Some people don't like the autonomy of a vehicle doing something that they're not controlling, so you can go in and change that if you do want. We don't recommend it, but you can go in and change it to turn it either off, have it just as an alert, or have it fully turned on as it is now. So again, just lots of different things on ways to um, change things, have things work, have them defaulted, have them set up how you want them to work. All right, going on, here's part of our tri-zone climate control, driver side, passenger side. You do have the rear climate also, and then people in the back seat can control it. Here's your heated seats, your ventilated seats for your driver, heated seats and ventilated seats for your passenger. There's a shot at that remote that you have. You do have the options of uh, unlocking the doors, locking the doors, remote start, opening up the rear tailgate. This beverage holder there. Lots of room in there, another USB port. You got another one right down there. Plenty of storage in this, got a glove compartment there. Options here for dropping the rear seats, power rear seats, power tailgate, three garage door openers, interior lighting. Well, lots of different stuff up there just in that one small area. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at that second row. Here we are coming into the second row again bench or excuse me bucket seats both of them do have heated seats in the back and there's that climate control for the back seat area heated seats in the back seat area more usb drive usb ports for charging the phones hvac vents second row and third row three in the back two in the middle up front. Let's 
Let's go ahead and take a look at that tailgate area. Again, you do have that power tailgate. Several different options of ways to open it. Right now we're just going to hit the one button underneath here. That open up. You have the options here of dropping the rear seats. You can also drop the first row of seats. However, that's manually lifting them back up. The back row, I can hit the button again and have it automatically go back up. So there we are, there's the 2024 Yukon XL in the SLT package, 5.3 liter V8 engine, volcanic red tint coat and color. If you're interested in this vehicle, give us a call here at Larkins GMC, 608-372-2161, or stop out anytime. Have a great day. Thank you very much.